Yeah, hi. Hello. Nice to see you, Ralph. Um, so uh, I guess the, the obvious place to start is where everybody's focus is at the moment. And what's the current situation for you and your squad with regard to the current COVID situation? Uh, could you update us? Yes, uh, uh, as you know, we had um, last week, the last training session uh, in on Thursday. Uh, on that day, we had five, eight field players and three goalkeepers. Um, and then we closed down the training ground for, for four days um, in order to stop the and to break the chain. Um, and today was the third day of, tra of training this week. Uh, we started on Tuesday, uh, then we trained yesterday and today. And today we had 25 field players. So quite apart from uh, Paul Pogba, he's the only one who's still missing out. Everybody was on board. So, um, yeah, the development in the last week was uh, extremely positive. So would you feel you're in good shape for that next fixture? You've got a couple more days, of course, till, till Monday and the trip to Newcastle. Yes, we will train tomorrow. Then there will be a day off uh, for, for the players on uh, Christmas Day. And then we have the last training session here on, on Sunday and we'll fly Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening to Newcastle. Hi, uh, um, Ralph. There's been a lot of talk, you'll, you'll no doubt be aware, about um, the players and the player welfare um, and five substitutes and, and various ways of, of helping the players over this period. What, what do you think about what should happen? What, what is your view as someone relatively new to English football? Well, as far as I remember, the, the four substitutes uh, were uh, well implemented or uh, it was decided that every team could substitute five players when COVID started last two years ago or two and a, one and a half years ago. And I think it was the right decision to do that, to have more options to, to, to change players, to, to, to save energy for players, uh, especially if they have only just recovered from, from, from COVID. And the same is true right now. So we have a, let's let's put it that way, a similar situation to the one that we had one and a half years ago. And therefore, I wouldn't see any reason why it shouldn't be as it was one and a half years ago. Uh, and as far as I know, in Europe, England is the only country where they only allow three subs. In all other leagues, in the, in the four big leagues, in the other four big leagues in Europe, you can substitute five players. And on the other hand, you're still allowed to have eight field players on the team sheet. Uh, and if you have eight field players on the team sheet, you should also be able to replace five because if you only can replace three of them, you will always have five players on the bench who cannot be substituted or cannot play. Obviously, you've only just come to England, um, but what, what is your view of having to play a game on, on the 26th, I know you're playing on the 27th, but other teams will play two days after, then three days after that. Do you think that something should have been done with the calendar at this moment to clear some space to try and help the teams? Because although you're OK, there's more games going to be off or, or already being called off on Boxing Day. I mean, you know that better than I do, what a big tradition that this is in England to play uh, Boxing Day, to play on the 27th, uh, even on the 30th or then on the on the 2nd of January. This is a big tradition and I think we should stick to and respect this tradition. Um, I'm actually, I'm looking forward to that. For me, it will be the first time in my coaching uh, career that uh, that I will be part of that. Um, but I think there are might be two or three other issues that we that could be discussed, and I know that they have been discussed in the past. Um, um, I think England is the only country again in the top five leagues in Europe that plays three two two cup competitions, and uh, even France, I think they abolished the second one uh, a year or two ago. So currently, we are the only country who plays two cup competitions. Um, this is something maybe we could once again speak about and discuss. I know the reason for that. I mean, the former League Cup, who is now the Carabao uh, Cup, has been still kept for the, the, the third and fourth division teams, especially to, to, to improve the financial situations of those clubs. But I still think if we speak about a tight calendar and maybe having to play too many games, this could be something where we, where we could speak and discuss. 
The other issue, I think it has been, there has been a change now in the last two weeks, is uh, in the FA Cup after a draw that you have to have, have a, a replay after a draw. This has been changed now. I think this is also a good idea. Again, in other countries, in cup competitions, uh, you play uh, extra time and penalties, so you never have that replay situation. So those might be issues and topics that you could speak about. Afternoon, Ralph. Um, just uh, picking up again with sort of this week, just how challenging has it been to prepare a side? Yes, you've had a break, but you've come back staggered. You, you've had a break. Just how challenging has it been to get everyone back into the training ground this week? And, and ultimately for the Newcastle game, you say 25 players have trained, field players have trained, but what is the availability for the Newcastle game? Well, as far as I could, I could see today in training, they're all in good shape. All the players, uh, they did their homework. Uh, they all had their schedule to, to train at home. And all of them just, uh, they, they stick to that, to that schedule and to that program. So from what I saw today in training, I, would have, I, I can say most of them, if not all of them, uh, might be available. And of course, I would have to, to take some difficult decisions, who will be in the squad, who will be in the starting 11. And, and Ralph, the, obviously the, the managers and the, the Premier League met earlier this week, the shareholders, the managers and the players are due to meet either later today, we, we understand. Just what what are you hoping to hear? And perhaps talking to some of your senior players, your, your, your senior group of players, what are they hoping to hear with regards to what Simon was talking earlier on about, you know, the player welfare the substitutes, just managing players' time during this period. What, what would you be hoping to hear? Well, I think most of the things we have already spoken about, uh, I think it would be of great help to have five substitutes. Um, this would also increase and improve the situation, the emotional situation uh, within the squad, because it's a big difference if you can give five players game time. It's also about game time. Um, and therefore, I would be much more in favor of having five subs. As I said, in other countries, they do that. Um, and I think we should seriously think that about that once again. And I haven't spoken with my players about that, but I don't need to because I know that most of the players would be in favor of that. Um, yes, and apart from that, um, I think, yeah, the Premier League will try everything to... Uh, to, to keep the league safe, to keep the situation around the players safe. The club, and we do that uh, regularly, have to encourage players to, to, yeah, to behave in a disciplined way with regard to contacts. We also need to make sure that we have most of the players vaccinated. As far as I know, we have a, a high record of vaccinated players here in, in our club. But still, I mean, the, the past two weeks show that even if you are being vaccinated, two or three times, you can still be uh, catching the virus, especially the new virus. So you are not being protect protected, but at least you are being protected from severe uh, symptoms. And as far as I know, most of our players who, um, yeah, who were tested positive, at least they had very, very weak uh, symptoms uh, and uh, they didn't suffer from that.